Today we're just putting on all these airlines, air settings. Oh, we got here, this is your uh, park and brake release. This is the line that releases your park and brake. This is your service brake, step on the foot brake. That's what's gonna release it. So we're just doing all the drives today, getting all that ran, all the brake release relay valves. I'm doing an eighth of a turn at a time. Making progress. Some jobs aren't glamorous. <laughs> One thing we're doing here, we're leaving lots of extra room so that if you gotta service it, crimp it, work with it in the, out in the field, there's extra slack in the line. I hate it when they give you just enough line so that if you blow your line, you have to replace the entire thing. Just leave a little extra slack. Same thing we did with the electrical in the cab. Always a little extra slack to so that you can fix things. Spend a couple dollars makes a lot of people happy. Right? It's 30 cents of extra holes. But it's gonna save you a hell of a lot in maintenance and pain in the ass down the line. Easier to cut it down six inches or so to change your fitting than replace an entire fucking line. Right? You're on the bush, you might not have a spare line, but you always have a couple extra inches. It's basically a way to make sure that you pack your spare line with you is in those extra few inches. I swear, they do it on purpose. They want to sell you a whole new line or something or make it more annoying or... I don't know why they do it. I think maybe the big manufacturers are at such a level that it's all an extra, an extra do, 10 yeah. cents a line. Yeah, oh, 10 cents a line times 100,000 trucks a year. You need this exact length for this exact bend. No, just give them a couple extra and just make their wives happy. I mean, make their trucks better. And That's coming out of the bottom dollar of our, our shareholders. <laughs> right, right. Our shareholders are going to be so upset that we spent an extra 10 cents per air hose. <laughs> just don't tell them about the fittings. All right, one thing I want to point out on this truck you will not find any plastic air fittings. There is no quick connect. Everything on here is proper compression fitting. Hose goes in, compression rings locked down. You'll see on a lot of other trucks, a lot, especially a lot of new trucks, they're just plastic push connects. You just push it in there. There's little teeth that are supposed to lock it. Those things eventually leak like a sieve. Now, the reason they do it is it's easy. Manufacturing process, a person just grabs it, pushes a little plastic hose into a plastic fitting. We have actual rubber hose going into steel compression fittings. Brass. Brass fittings. You want me to just do the whole thing? Mm, no, or you can if you want. I but forgot what we were saying. You said we have uh, brass fittings. Brass. I said steel and then he corrected me to brass, but. <laughs> All right, so something I want to point out with our air fittings on our trucks, you're not going to find any plastic air fitting. Every air fitting we got is brass, there's no push connects. You literally, you gotta slide it over, put your compression ring on. From there, it slides oh, into the tube. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. Push your in, clip it, grab a wrench, tighten it. You'll see on a lot of new builds, they use a lot of plastic push connects. The reason they do it, number one, the plastic is a lot cheaper for a uh, manufacturer. And number two, it's a lot quicker. So you're paying a lot less labor. You grab a plastic tube and you put it into a plastic fitting and it's like a little tug test and that's supposed to hold it. The problem is those plastic ones, they leak really quick. They get road grime in them. They get dirt, mud, muck, or they just wear out over time. These ones, oh, you got 10 years out of this thing before you got to worry about it. Yeah. Like rubber fittings, rubber hoses, and this for your important things like your brakes and your drives to avoid the air leaks back there, I think is absolutely worth the extra little bit of money on a truck. Takes a little bit longer. You gotta actually grab the wrenches, but better long run. There's a special way you gotta do zip ties when you do it. You don't zip tie them together. What happens is you zip tie these lines together. Eventually they're gonna rub into each other. And if the two hoses, rubber hoses rub into each other, it'll wear out, you'll get an air leak. So what you do is you zip tie around and then you put a zip tie through the middle and those two hoses will never rub together. It's a zip tie spacer. That's a little logging trick. And it avoids having to buy really expense, expensive special Dual half clips. inch airline air connectors, yada, yada, yada. So we're gonna test, see if these uh, parking brakes release. Yeah! One, two, three, four. Woo. That one needs to work. We, uh, we forgot to tighten that one up. Which one? <laughs> that? <laughs> this one never got tightened up. <laughs> yeah, no, we... Okay, they work if you tighten them all up. Okay. Quality check. Yep. Yeah, we'll do a second test here. 
you as soon as I hook the next airline up. We, we take tested, two. We tested the dynamite. Take two. We've gone around, we've double checked that they're all actually tight, and not just on there loosely, so. And what are we looking to verify here? We're looking to see if the uh, parking brake works. And releases. we can tell because of the... S-cam traveling in. And it did. That air leak is right on the fitting. And if I release the brakes. <laughs> Woo! Check that out. Dynamite. Working brake system. We have working brakes. Fuel bubbles on our quick connect there. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that okay. That's a good uh, example. So oh, yeah. So we're spraying a little soapy water to see where there's leaks. So, for example, on the quick connect, that's what it'll look like if we have air leaks. So you can go around, check all of our fittings. This is a light mist. Because if you overspray it and just soak it, it won't show up that well. And just give them all hell, right? Go on to make sure there's no bubbles back here. I'm absolutely going to double check every air fitting with the soapy water because there is no way a truck is leaving my shop with any air leaks whatsoever. It drives me nuts. All right, other cool thing are glasses in. So, the glasses in. I don't know what else to say on that. That's not really a long video. That's, that's a quite pretty quick one. Oh, that's, we got to point out. Oh, have we not pointed out the no. passenger seat yet? The passenger seat's in. Yeah, so passenger seat, cool thing. Flip that up, put a little cup holder in that on the top. So you can put your cup holder, cell phone holder, whatever else you need. We're gonna have a cup holder up here, but we'll also put one up here. I don't know, my 1969 Kenworth has this and I love it. It's like a little tractor, flip up, flip down, buddy seat. I mean, for the amount of times you actually carry a passenger in a logging truck, do you really need like a full size seat? Half the time you fold it down, you got a little desk, put paperwork. You gotta fill out any kind of paperwork, nice and easy there, cup holder, like that's, that's kind of cool. Okay guys, I just wanted to thank everyone that's been supporting us, sponsoring us and all that. So, wanna give a shout out to Ronald Bram out of Pittsburgh, PA, Pennsylvania. Hey, I'd like to also thank uh, Senior Body Singerson from Blondison or Blondus, Iceland. Thank you, buddy. And he has a comment here. Love seeing the truck come together. Keep it up, boys. Yeah, we put in an option for people to yeah. leave the comments, too. So, um, we'll go for it. All right. Uh, we thank uh, Ken Klassen from Hope BC. Real close. Oh, oh nice. Right nice. Right Jonathan Hostetter Studler from Howe, Indy, Indiana. Oh, uh,. This guy's comment says, I'm probably not lucky enough, but if you guys read my name on the video, it's pronounced Pad Rick. So, Pad Rick, Ben, Penan, Angola, New York. I, I got pronounced. Cool. He told me yeah. how to pronounce it. <laughs> nice guy. He, yeah. he says he's more of a whiskey guy, but wants us to let, him know, let us know to have a round of beer on him. All right. Nice. Okay, I want to thank uh, James Eisenberg from New York, New York. Thanks, buddy. All right. You Wait. guys deserve it. That was Ray, his comment. Can you stand over just a little bit? You're hiding behind you. All right, we thank uh, Brian Langley from Richmond, BC. And his comment says, watch your progress every day. Great job. Brian thank Langley you. is from Richmond? Yeah. Not Langley? <laughs> no. <Nope>. Classic. <laughs> uh, John Latimer from Williamstown, New Jersey. Thank you. Oh, my. Yeah, that's your go. Ben Koch. Sorry. <laughs> ben Koch from Tremont, IL. Illinois. 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 Yeah. I was going to say Indiana, but that's, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> he said he can't wait for the next round of investing. Uh, it's looking good. Awesome. Hey, I want to thank uh, Joel Millman from Fernandale, Washington. I uh, love what you guys are doing. I run Heavy Haul and have been driving through Merritt every week for the past two months. All 80,000 pounds, windmill gearboxes from the port of Longview, Washington, to Jenner, Alberta. So my son and I have spoke about diesel electric for years, and you guys are finally doing it. Keep up the good work. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Joel. All right. We thank uh, Clayton Weeb from La Crete, Alberta. And he says, I, I enjoy you guys. It's really nice. I'm glad he enjoys us. All right. Yeah, awesome. He enjoys us. I think it's La Crete. La Crete. La Crete. La Crete. La Crete. Cool. <laughs> Andrew Collins from Firestone, Colorado. Thank you. We got Dylan Mann. Awesome work, guys. He's excited to see the truck done. No, no place. No town. <laughs> Hey, I want to thank Anthony Klein from Zit Medritz, Iowa. Sorry, I didn't pronounce that correctly. Z, is it Izzy? Anyway, thanks, buddy. Iowa, 
It's Iowa. Anthony Klein. No, you you got to sound, sound it out. You got to sound it out. It, it's it's uh. I sheets my drawers, Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> I sheets my drawers, Iowa. Yeah, you got me there. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen to us eventually. Well, yeah. of course, of course. <laughs> of course. All right, I'd like to thank uh, Jonathan Phillips from Lima, Ohio. And he says, I am a UN UNOH high performance and heavy diesel student. Everyone I know is rooting for you. Thank you for putting in the industry on notice. Good luck and Godspeed. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Uh, Stuart Albalet from Sinju Sinjuku City, Tokyo, Japan. Wow, wow, that's, Tokyo. Cool. Hey, Holy. that's awesome. That's a pretty white name for a guy in Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's being nice. Wait, does he have a city? Isn't Tokyo a city? How do you I have a uh, city a, in... It'd be like... It's um, a prefecture, I think, or something like that. Like a town inside a yeah, town. Yeah. Like how Richmond, Vancouver is just pretty... Like Richmond. Vancouver, but yeah. it's... Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I'm not from Tokyo. I'm from... That's cool to have Tokyo. someone from Tokyo. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. And then your up taste? Your up... Okay, uh... Tom Kenny from East Greenbush, New York, says he loves the YouTube videos. Thanks. Uh, awesome. Hey, I want to thank uh, Bradley Gooch from Iroquois Falls, Ontario. Love the content, great idea, and even better team making this happen. Proud to be Canadian. All right. Thanks, Brad. All right. I'd like to thank Chris Hines from Lenexa, Kansas. He says, to honor, can't come in her, come on her. <laughs> <laughs> That was the one to get Love the guy. <laughs> that was the one Gabe got. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if he saw me out. cheers in China. Did I release that yet? I don't know. I don't know if that's released, but I did that in a business meeting in China. Yeah. The yeah. Theron literally gave that speech in a business meeting. <laughs> oh, okay. Everyone was going around this table in China, get like all the business partners giving toasts. So that's the toast that Theron has to get. You see if you can just then, place that into this video. And cheers to honor. Cheers to get in on her, stay in on her. If you fall off her, get back on her. If you can't come in her, come on her. Cheers to honor. 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 Oh, 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 oh. I put it down. No, but stop. All around. Just a cheer. Just a cheer. Cheers. 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 And they were, they were all like, cheer. No, to honor. To honor. <laughs> Um, let's see, I got Classic. Nolan Plate from Kitchener, Ontario. Keep up the great work, boys. Show Elon how proper electric trucks are manufactured. Nice, right. Right. Yeah, you bet. Coming for you. I'm out You're all done, eh? Yeah, I'm all right done. On. Okay, so James Studeheit from Nampa, Idaho. You're all doing great work. Maybe all your hard work will get the big companies to invest more in the ways things should be done. Easy to fix, built to last, and made in Canada or the U.S. or overseas. But you guys are awesome. I don't have a use for or way to afford that matter, a truck. But if you had to buy one, you'd all be at the top of the list. Ah, all yeah, right. Thanks, wow. James. Hey, you. Thanks, man. All right. I'd like to say thanks to uh -oh, uh, Popke Hartenhoff from the Netherlands. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. And he says, keep up the good work, lads. Keep all right. Up. I got uh, William Bidler. Bidler. Bidinger. Bidinger. William Bidinger. Bidinger, okay, from Aurora, Colorado. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I want to do my small part to support you guys, keep up what you're doing, and show this is the future of trucks. Thank you. We we'll definitely do. will. Thanks. Oh, thanks, guys. Uh, we really appreciate all the support and the nice oh, messages. Uh, three and more. Gabe still has one more. <laughs> Sorry, three more. Oh, three geez. more? Yeah. Oh, who, who made this list? <laughs> this is not well balanced. Not today. well balanced. So we, we, uh, we thank Robert Reeves in uh, Los Angeles, California. Uh, good work, boys. Keep it up. I smell success. Uh, we thank Matthew De 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 Clerk. De Clerk from Livingston, Texas. He says... Uh, keep up the great work. Love to see the future of trucking being built by such a small yet highly productive team. When you get to the point where you need software design, let me know. I do it for a living and would love to help. No, oh, nice. Sweet. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and email me. Last, we thank... If you get this one wrong, you're fired. <laughs> George, George Smith. <laughs> from Central West River, Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia yeah. Uh, keep up the good work and try not to get hurt, but shit happens. 
Yeah. yeah. That it does. Well, that it does. Thanks, everybody. Oh, no, thank we so really much. appreciate the support, the nice messages you guys have left in the comment section there. You can get onto this list by supporting us through our merch store. Mm -hmm. uh, we have coffee for the crew, beers for the boys, support our YouTube, and there's an option to leave a comment if you want us to read your comment out. And I also think that Gabe now is an amazing, fantastic reader, and he's nominated from now on. Uh.